Good. Okay, so everybody can see. So we got the mineral oil. I'm going to add the oil first. Okay. And 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 yell at me if I get if I forget if I get out of the vision of the of the of the camera. Okay. That's pretty exciting. This is about a pint. This is a two-liter soda bottle that I've removed the label from. Cleaned it up pretty well so you can see all the way around. Okay. And I'm adding two pints of mineral oil. Oops. Adding it a little sloppily. Okay, so you can see, if I hold it up here, it's closer to the camera. Homogeneous or heterogeneous? Homogeneous. Heterogeneous, right? I've got little bubbles in there. Anybody want to guess what the bubbles are? Air. Yeah, air. The, uh, the, the mineral oil is a little viscous, like most oils. Okay, kind of a little thick. Okay, so as I'm pouring it, okay, into the bottle, it traps a little air. Okay, you know, if I let that sit there long enough, the air is eventually going to do what? Yeah, the air is going to rise to the top, air is less dense, the air is not particularly soluble, oxygen and nitrogen are neither very soluble in the oil. Eventually, if I let that sit for a while, you can actually see the top layer here is actually fizzing a little bit, where the air is escaping into the, into the atmosphere, okay? So I, I should stop making so many observations for you, but I can't help myself, okay? Good observations, okay? So we've actually got a heterogeneous mixture there that will eventually become a homogeneous substance, okay? Okay, great. Um, let's add the water next, okay? Uh, enough to fill the bottle. And I need a little bit more water. Now I'm going to fill it pretty much up to the top there. Okay? Great. Okay, great. Um, I'll hold it up closer to the camera here, okay? Again, I think we all know where the oil went, where the water went, right? Oil is now where? Oil is on the top, and oil is having a little bit of trouble because it's been totally mixed up because that's why I added the oil first, okay? I really wanted to disturb the oil, okay? I could have added the water first. It would have made it much less exciting, okay? So I added the oil first. And then when the water hit the oil, the oil immediately had to do what? It, tried to it had to vacate the premises. And the oil didn't like that. Okay? So it's pretty mixed up right now. The water's pretty, uh, pretty satisfied. Okay? It did a pretty good job of dispersing the oil. Okay. You have your choice. I'm going to make this one. What time? That, that one is green. I'm going to make this one green. Okay? So now I'm going to add a few drops of food coloring. Okay? And if you don't like this, you have no soul. Okay? <laughs> I'll add a few more drops. Okay. This is where I need to... I'm going to zoom in now, if I can. Bear with me. I'm not a camera person. Okay? Matter of fact, I'm just going to hold it up. Okay? It's hard to see. Okay? Right now, okay... It's hard for me to visualize this, so maybe you want to come up, up, up front to take a peek at this, okay? Okay? While I take the camera off, okay? Come up front, please, and take a look. This is really interesting, okay? Don't you hate it when teachers say that? This is really interesting, okay? Right now, okay, the food coloring is sitting right at that interface, okay? It's kind of trapped, so we're just going to be patient here for a little bit, okay? Sometimes you've got to be patient, okay? I guarantee it's worth the wait. Okay? What can you, what, again, I'm helping you out a little bit. What can you tell me about the food coloring? It's more dense than the water at this point. Uh, okay, even a simpler, even a simpler thing, okay? 
Even something simpler. When I drop in, I'll drop in another one. Okay? Yeah, you're doing green. West Densley. This is green, right? Yeah. Good. Okay. So cool. Why is it so cool? So Tell me why it's cool. Tell me why it's cool. It's, it's not mixing. It's, it's not sense. mixing. Yeah, the the like food oil. coloring doesn't dissolve in the oil. The food coloring, as we all know, will eventually dissolve where? In the water. In the water. Right now, the food colorings right. have a hard, having a hard time getting into the water because of what? All the oil. There because there of the right confusion. There. Because of the confusion right here. There's a barrier there. There's a high energy barrier that the food, that the, that the, here we go. Bang. Like I said, don't like that? You got no soul. Okay. Okay. So that little drop, that little drop bursts through. Okay. Matter of fact, this observation was one of the first observations. There it goes. There goes another. Watch that one. Oh man, that is beautiful. Now, if we wait long enough, and unfortunately we don't have enough time, we all know that eventually the. There goes another one. You know it would happen, right? Oh sure. Eventually, you all know that if we let that sit there, and I, I will let it sit there, I'm not going to touch it, okay? Um, if we come back at the, at the end of the day, none of you will be surprised that the entire water layer will be what? Green. Green. Yep. This simple observation about three or four hundred years ago was the first evidence that people had that there was something smaller than you could see going on. Because why, what else could drive that kind of spontaneous mixing, okay? So this observation, people were dropping ink into oils and watching how an ink drop would move. It was called, the process, this, this, the mixing process is actually named after a guy who observed this, a guy by the name of Brown. It's called Brownian motion. Oh, yeah. And it's the first evidence that people had that there must be some, some motion there that we can't see. Molecules are in motion. Now, they didn't know it was molecules, but at least they knew it was something, okay? I don't know if my video's been showing this. My video won't do this any justice, okay? Might have, to so, have all the oil drops gotten through? Come around to this side. Yeah, there's one more. Okay. Is there one more still sitting there? Yep. Yeah. It's kind of hard to see because of the... We've got a problem that we'll talk about in chemistry and calls it a problem. I just love this. Okay? I love the way the oil... I love the way the drop goes. You know? Almost perfect little spheres. They're not perfect spheres because of gravity. Okay? So if we were to examine, they'd be more droplets. And what do you think? Do you think these drops are going to find it easier to get through the, through the interface? Interface. Good word. Interface is where two things come together. Chemists love to study interfaces. Okay, and yeah. then we'll watch it. There, we'll watch it explode. They should have an easier. Okay, time. okay, that's what would be our hypothesis. Okay. Now I'm going to let it sit here because I'm just kind of curious just to let that that spontaneous mixing happen. Okay, but you should recognize that that spontaneous mixing that we see happening in that aqueous layer. Aqueous. There's a good word. Aqueous means what? Water, Water is the solvent. Okay. So that aqueous layer that we see there is pretty, is pretty cool. 